Hello, pool players. I'm going to go ahead and shoot a jump shot here. I'm going to explain to you a couple things about how I line up my jump shot and how I go through it. And I'm going to show you an overhand jump shot. So my hand is here. I'm not going to use a dart stroke. That's a dart stroke. Just going to cover the overhand. I'm much stronger at an overhand shot than I am at a dart, dart stroke. And I use that for close distance shots like cross side or something like that. But here I'm going to show you a longer jump shot and I'm very comfortable with this shot. I'm probably about 70 to even 80 percent at making this shot. And what I do is I come into it where I line it up just like I would shoot normally and I creep up on the shot and then I raise up and I try to hold my body in that same position. I look at the cue ball. I know where I'm going to hit the cue ball and I make the shot. Very, very accurate with that shot. Now, what is it that allowed me to be able to do that? I'm going to give you a full confession here. I sucked at jump shots until I bought this cue. And I'm not even going to mention the name of this cue unless you ask me in the comments because I'm not trying to sell the cue, okay? I want you to make sure that you don't feel that in this video. All I'm going to say is that this cue this made the difference because my other cue, and I'll tell you the name of that one, that was a Rage, and it was a break jump cue. Weighed 25 ounces. Pretty good for breaking if you like a heavy cue. I actually don't like a heavy cue for breaking. I actually have a Synergy Breach now by Q-Tech, much lighter, 18 ounces. Really a firepower stick right there. Um, but anyway, that other cue I had would break down and it would uh, serve as a jump cue as well. Couldn't jump with it. Couldn't even get over the object or the blocker ball. Okay, I pretty much gave up on jumping. And and this brings me to what I feel about jumping too. I don't think it should be allowed in the game. That's my personal feeling. I think that we should be able to kick like Efren Reyes and make you know those shots. There's a lot more skill to doing that than there is to jumping. But because everybody can do it, I figured, hey, I gotta, I can't, I, I can't not do it because it puts me at a disadvantage. So. I then decided one time, because I was playing a guy in a league, and I pulled out my rage, and he laughed. He says, oh man, you got the wrong jump cue, man. I said, what's the difference? They're all the same, right? Big difference. He showed me what I have right here. And I said, is that thing pretty awesome? He says, oh yeah. I said, feel it. 17 ounces. And I was like, whoa, it's light as a feather, okay? I actually, have, I'm sorry, 17 ounces. I think it's 12 ounces. Pretty sure it's 12 ounces. It's really light. So the next day, I decided to go out and buy it. It was $599 at that time. And I'll tell you what, immediately I had success. But let me tell you why I had the success as well. I went to a pro tournament and I made it a point to watch how the, the pros were striking the cue ball. I don't know if you caught it here, but what I do is when I'm lined up, and all I do is I control my... Uh, height of my cue ball by the angle, angle in, angle out. So if I'm here, I can get away with that when the cue ball's way back here because I got a long distance to this object ball or this ball that I'm trying to go over. If I'm close, I have to come in higher with my cue to get it to come over that ball, okay? It's all in the angle, but also it's in the position of where the tip is. So I try to hit what I call the skull. So if I have this cue ball here and I'm hitting dead in the center at this angle, it's going to drive the cue, the cue ball into the table and then bounce it up immediately that same angle. If I want to stop the cue ball as it hits my object ball, let's say, and I can hit the object ball at the base, that's the other thing that's very important, don't want to bounce into it. Uh, the recent video, video I showed you where I did a jump bank, it bounced into that ball. But you can get away with that. It, and I needed to do that because I needed to roll the cue ball after it hit. So if you want to stop the cue ball, you got to bring your tip down a little bit, just like, it, just like a stop shot. And then if you want to roll the cue ball ahead, you raise it up a little bit, and that puts forward roll on it. So there's a couple little things there that are just little nuances about, you know, being better at positioning the cue ball off the jump shot. And that's how that works. And if you want to watch another great video, watch this one right here. Till next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.